Hello, my name is Mark Thorne, staff scientist for Mixed Signal Products at Linear Technology. I'm going to show you the latest addition to Linear's line of voltage output digital to analog converters, the LTC2668. General purpose DACs address a wide range of applications, including instrumentation, industrial controls, and setting voltages and currents in all manner of analog circuits. Linear's lineup includes resolutions and channel counts from 8-bit singles to 16-bit octals, but what if you need a plethora of DACs? The LTC2668 is a revolutionary product featuring 16 16-bit DACs in a very tiny 6x6mm 40-pin QFN package with a rich set of features. Each output can be set independently to one of five ranges, 0 to 5 volts, 0 to 10 volts, 2.5 volt bipolar, 5 volt bipolar, and 10 volt bipolar, all derived from a single 2.5 volt reference. The range for each output can be set independently through the SPI interface when the three M-span pins are configured for soft span. The M-span pins can also set all DACs to a single range, reducing software overhead for applications requiring only a single range on all DACs. A good DAC needs a good reference, and that's built in too. The LTC 2668's internal 2.5 volt reference has a guaranteed accuracy of 0.2% and a guaranteed temperature coefficient of 10 parts per million per degree Celsius. The reference can be shared with other circuits when appropriately buffered. The reference pin can also be configured as an input when an external reference is preferred. A 12-bit version is available if 16-bit resolution is not required. The supply voltages are flexible. If all DACs are set to the unipolar 5 volt range, then only a single 5 volt supply is required. A single 12 volt supply will support the unipolar 5 volt and 10 volt spans, and a 15 volt bipolar supply allows the use of all output spans. The digital interface has its own supply pin, allowing a direct interface to modern FPGAs with 1.8 volt logic levels, 5 volt microcontrollers, or anywhere in between without level shifting circuitry. The output amplifiers can source and sync 10 milliamps and can tolerate capacitive loads of up to 1,000 picofarads, eliminating the need for external buffers in most cases. The monitor multiplexer allows any single channel to be measured at the MUX pin. This function would normally require a large external high voltage multiplexer, but it's built right into the LTC2668. This can be used for channel-by-channel -channel calibration or to detect excessive loading by external circuits. Another useful feature is the toggle function. Each DAC has two data registers that can be written independently. Once written, all DAC outputs can be set to either register through a single SPI command or by the toggle pin. Now it's time for some demonstrations. The LTC2668 is very easy to evaluate with the demo board and accompanying software. The control panel exposes all of the LTC2668's features and allows you to set the voltages and spans for each channel. Here, we've set the DAC outputs to a staircase of voltages from minus 5 volts to plus 10 volts in 1 volt steps. An Agilent 34401A meter is measuring the MUX output. Scrolling through the monitor MUX channels allows each channel to be measured by the meter for this demonstration, which could be an onboard ADC in your application. Note the accuracy of the levels. Without performing any calibration, no channel is more than 15 millivolts outside of the expected value over the 20 volt range. The toggle view allows the A and B registers for each DAC to be loaded. Toggling is particularly useful for transducers that require AC excitation, often with minimal DC content. I've set the output of channel 0 to the 10 volt bipolar range, with the A and B registers loaded with 5 volts and minus 5 volts. Toggling on this channel is enabled, and I'm feeding a 1 kHz square wave to the toggle pin. With the meter set to measure DC voltage, you can see that the DC content of the signal is extremely small. Switching to AC measures the RMS value of the DAC output and accurate 5 volts. Another use for toggling is to add dither to a signal that is controlling a mechanical actuator such as a valve. Dither keeps the actuator moving back and forth by a small amount, 
overcoming static friction and reducing deadband. Let's see how we can use the toggle feature to implement dither. Channel 1 is set to send a 5 volt average signal to an actuator with 1 volt peak to peak dither. This is done by setting the A and B registers to the desired average value plus and minus 500 millivolts respectively. Once again, the meter responds to the average DC value and accurate 5 volts. The toggle function greatly simplifies both of these applications, which would normally require constant updates over the SPI bus. The fun doesn't stop here. We're using the recently released Linduino, which is Linear Technologies' Arduino-compatible development board as the bridge between the demo software and the LTC 2668 demo board. At the moment, it's running the default firmware that allows it to work with any of our Quick Eval demo boards and accompanying demo software. But we can quit out of the GUI and load the free open source Arduino environment, allowing you to start writing firmware in almost zero time. The Linduino code for the LTC 2668 includes a header and library files with all of the relevant information from the datasheet translated to C code, including command definitions, bit definitions, and the like. There are functions that actually do the work of communicating with the LTC 2668, demonstrating proper control of the SPI bus. There are also utility functions that translate voltages to DAT code values and vice versa. Finally, the top-level demonstration program lets you test out the library functions with a simple terminal interface. Once you get a feel for the library, you can move on to your own firmware. The LTC 2668 packs 16 DACs, an accurate reference, and lots of extra features into a tiny 6 by 6 millimeter package. The demo board and software will allow you to easily test it in your own applications, and the Linduino code will give you a head start on firmware development. For more information on the LTC 2668, visit Linear.com. Thank you.